Hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Neeti Rai Zada. I am Director of Medical Oncology and Hemato Oncology at Fortis Cancer Center at Bangalore. Just wanted to summarize all the urological cancers, that is genitourinary cancers, and especially uh, the role of drugs, that is immunotherapy, chemotherapy, and biologic therapy in all these cancers. So when you are summing up all the urological cancers, they are primarily four. One is the kidney cancer, second is bladder, urinary bladder cancer along with ureter cancer. Then the third and probably the most common cancer amongst men is the prostate cancer. And fourth is testicular cancer, which happens to be the most curable cancer as well. So when I talk about all four, let me start about kidney cancer first. Now about one third of all kidney cancers would actually present with stage four disease or advanced disease. Another one third may eventually require systemic therapy because they may progress to advanced cancer. And in all these cancers, there's an important role of biologic therapy, which are known as targeted therapies and mostly given in the form of tablets. Along with this, now as a standard protocol, we try to combine it with immunotherapy, that is immune checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, when you combine these two drugs, the results are extraordinary. Actually, it is said that 5 to 10% of advanced kidney cancers will completely disappear. That is, they will have complete remission with long-term results. Now, the second group of cancers is bladder and ureteric cancer. So, most common of this is something known as a urothelial cancer. And there's an important role of perioperative chemotherapy in such patients. So, prior to surgery, we would try to give chemotherapy. And in certain patients who have not received prior chemotherapy, additional chemotherapy may be given after bladder surgery. There are again an important role of immunotherapy in such candidates, especially in advanced cancers and especially in patients who have compromised renal function. Talking about prostate cancer, as I said, globally is the most common cause of cancer amongst men and also an important cause of morbidity and mortality in some men. What it means is, that if you diagnose it early, it can be cured. It also has a very important screening program in which just a digital rectal examination, that is just finger examination from the rectum of the prostate can help us diagnose. A simple blood test, which looks for a protein in blood, known as a serum prostate specific antigen, can also highlight that a patient requires biopsy for confirmation of this cancer. If diagnosed early, it's curable. And since it's a hormone driven cancer, anti hormone therapy or anti testosterone therapy is the key. It is known as androgen blockade therapy. So, which is given in the form of either uh, an injection or it is given in the form of tablets uh, or surgery. Now, certain patients who are resistant to hormones are given chemotherapy, some very rarely immunotherapy, and biologic therapy based on certain markers which are seen in blood. So if a person has certain type of expression of a mutation in blood or tissue, we try to give biologic therapy in such individuals. The last group is testicular cancer, which can happen generally in young men. And generally age group is between uh, 20 to 40 years. That is patients in their 20s and 30s should be recommended a routine testicular examination once a month. And if there's an unusual uh, painless or sometimes even painful swelling, should go to a doctor for evaluation. These patients are curable in most more than 90% situation. So we have to understand the importance of diagnosing this and treating them well. Thanks so much.